What's up guys, what's going on? Cam Bob coming at you with a review, finally, I know. I, I, say, I feel like I say that every video. Anyway, Off-White for Nike, Zoomfly Mercurial, Beaverton, Oregon, USA in this uh, holographic or hologram style box. Uh, silver is the base and then you got these little hologram circles all around. We'll turn it up this way so you can see what size and what's going on. Nike ZM Fly Mercurial FK OW Off-White. Uh, price was $200 plus tax, kind of steep considering what you're getting. Uh, size is 10.5. I went true to size. I wear 11 on my left, 10.5 on my right. Totally forgot about the usual fit, and they're actually perfect. Um, I have a little bit of room on my 10.5, so you can definitely go true to size on this shoe. Definitely true to size on the shoe. Have tried them on already. Uh, total orange is this pair. I do have the black pair as well. Uh, I'll just open this up, show you the extras, and I'll do one in one in the video for the shoe portion. Uh, paper, um, same design as the box, except the circles are orange. It comes with a backpack, not to be confused with a dust bag. As you guys can see, you got your little D-ring down here. I'll show you a D-ring for your back and tensioning. If you want to put it on, just throw a pair of shoes in here, a pair of cleats, whatever, if you're playing soccer. A couple of colors on here. Let me turn it the right way. So orange is the base lay in a uh, ripstop kind of material, off-white Nike, Mercury, whatever you saw that shit already. Green circle, off-white branding, Mercurial on the bottom there. Turn it over. Oh, boot bag. Chillin'. Uh, Nike logo, whatever, circle, you guys get it. Anyway, let's get into the shoes real quick. I'll pull them out and then show you the rest of the paper. So the paper has the same branding. It actually, it's pretty cool paper. We'll say that. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but pretty cool paper. Orange pair here, black pair here. Same thing on both boxes, silver. We just went through it, don't have to show you. Same deal on the tag as well, 10 and a half in both shoes. My size, 200 retail, no price differential. I did see a pair of these that someone got from Nike Lab in, um, oh, whatever, I think Marvelous Souls posted it. Somebody posted it. And one shoe has foam and the other shoe does not, so he has a little quality flaw in there or issue, whatever have you, but let's get into the dust bag or the backpack, I'm sorry. Same as the orange except in black, so technically not the same as the orange, but you got off-white Nike writing on there as well. You got the off-white logo, green circle, blue circle, Nike logo, boot bag. The bag is actually pretty dope. Uh, I like it a lot, kind of clean. Anyway, uh, pull these shoes out. We'll do one black, one orange. All right, let's get back into this bad boy. So black pair is in hand. I haven't even unlaced them yet, or at least the right foot I haven't unlaced yet. Uh, pretty simplistic, super light upper. Um, the only thing that throws me off about the shoe is how round, let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about, how round this toe box is or the front portion of the shoe. Other than that, um, I thought that they would be a little too narrow. Once you loosen up these laces like I did on the orange pair here, um, very comfortable. Like I said, the only thing that's kind of weird is how round this uh, this is. It's kind of like a clown shoe in the front and flips up. If you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let me turn it this way. You see it has like a little curvature to it, like right here. Um, super comfortable though. I, I will say that uh, I zoom fly. I did try my uh, the last pair on the off-whites. They were super tight because I got a 10 and a half. I wouldn't need an 11 and a half, but Getting these in the right size and putting them on and stepping down, super comfortable. Uh, I, I highly suggest getting a pair of these if you're um, into walking, running, um, just casually chilling out, but they are very comfortable. I'm, I'm actually tempted to go buy a regular pair or GR pair just to throw on and uh, have around the house because I'm not gonna wear these for knock around. But anyway, let's get into some more detail. So you got flying it across the entire upper, um, flying it on the tongue. You got some writing on here. What is this? Engineered for speed and personal use. So maybe I should wear these out. <laughs> I get a little closer so you guys can see it. Get a little focus in there. Uh, elastic touch to it. Yeah, you can see the uh, the pull in there for the elastic on the tongue. Uh, just string laces, logo, footbed you can pull out very easily as you guys can see there i'm gonna grab the black pair because i feel like you'll probably be able to see a little bit better than the orange because the color is crazy so you got the same thing except you got uh, different colors orange footbed on the orange pair volt colored footbed on the black pair with the logo stamping in there same thing with the logo stamping on the orange uh some circles on here which are mirrored so all the circles are the same right yeah so you got white swoosh white circle uh differential i 
not even the line going through the foam midsole is different. It's the same exact gradient and colorway through the entire thing. The only thing flip flop, obviously, uh, black midsole, white foam, white midsole, black foam. You did different colors on the outsole itself, orange and white, black on the black pair. Um, like I said before, the circles are identical in their locations. So you got blue, blue, everything is uh, pretty much on there. Off-white for Nike, same thing that's stamped on the box is on the medial side of both shoes in both colorways, unless you got a fucked up pair. And then you have some writing across the circle on the back here, engineered for exact specifications of championship athletes. So, uh, um, it was whatever, it's written on the circle, who gives a shit. Uh, I also took note to the pull tab. You could actually fit your finger through it if you have a bigger finger or at least, you know, has a little bit extra. Some of the other pairs, I don't, I don't know what they're doing, but they, they make them so that you can maybe fit some of your pinky in it. It's kind of weird, but it's easier to slip on that way, obviously. Uh, shoelaces only came with one set of laces, black on black, orange on orange, and as usual, per off-white, you got the shoelace tag on there bring a little closer so you guys can see what i'm talking about anyway um i will do an on foot even though i think it i don't think you guys need it i'll do fucking both of these shoes on two different feet so you can see what it looks like but very very comfortable um i would suggest going true to size if you're worried about it and uh yeah i'm pretty much done with this if you guys have any questions hit me in the comment section uh thumbs up are always appreciated if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button there's a little bell if you guys want those notifications for when i throw up reviews because i do do it randomly there is no schedule to this only thing that's scheduled is the breakdown so watch the breakdown i'm out of here peace